record. Uh, I am now recording. I am also recording. I'm sorry, I did zone out for like two seconds. It's That's fine. Okay. You didn't miss good. anything. I am also recording. Right. Uh, okay. A lot of games Hi. today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You all ready for a countdown? Yep. Oh, you know it. Hi. <laughs> It's Hitley already coming out. That's how you know it's real. <laughs> uh huh. Three, two, one. That was horrendous. Yep. Okay, again. Uh... Three, oh. Three, two, one. Hey! Slightly better. better. Oh, okay. way better. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. You know what? Good enough. Again, this is all a problem for future Jay. So. Yep. <laughs> future Jay, we love you. <laughs> love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any last nonsense we need to get out before I do the intro? Mm -mm. Oh shoot! Uh, but, but, but quick, how to say this? <laughs> Clattering noises oh. on Liz's microphone. Contain right. unbreachment. Just <laughs> unbreach. Containment unbreach. <laughs> Just gotta <laughs> rattle around a cutlery drawer for a couple of minutes first. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, don't mind me tripping though. I just had to tell my roommates that I was recording. I usually put sign uh. up, but I forgot. <laughs> no, it's cool. Yeah, I have a little sign that I put on my door that just says "Do not disturb." Okay. Yeah. I and record in my happens. room, so I don't have to do any of that shit. They just respect. Well, I'm in the my fact room, my door but sometimes, closed. sometimes someone like knocks on the door, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. Well, those people should respect that the door is closed. Mm -hmm. Is there a mm -hmm. fire outside? No, then don't come in. I think we just have slightly different at-home culture. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no, totally. I'm sorry. That was not genuine. That was me making a no, joke. No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> that was me taking it seriously. <laughs> Kai, please start before I embarrass myself further. Um, I'm ready now. As someone who lives who lives in a whole flat, no one's gonna come bug us. No one talks to us. We're both here. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, everybody good? We're good. We're yeah. good. I'm great. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Odyssey, a the second session in our double special feature weekend. I we don't have a fancy title for this. We just really wanted to play more D and D, so we're doing two sessions. Yeah. <laughs> I am Kai, I am the DM, um, and I'm having a good time because I've finally gotten to introduce one of my favourite NPCs besides the doctors, <laughs> so I'm having a good time. Uh, but would our wonderful players like to introduce themselves? Hi, my name is Liz, and I am playing Miss Foam Forrester, a little mound of a druid who is out of her depths, but you know, just keep on keeping on, just, it's so, so good. At least she knows Elvish. At least she knows yeah, she wish. speaks one uh, language, so, you know. Mm -hmm. like one useful language Multiple right languages. now. languages. Yeah, one useful but language. one that's useful. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Mark. I'm playing Viv Hitley. She's big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love Large. Her. Um... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You okay there? <laughs> Gotta come up with a bit real quick. Yeah, you can uh, just introduce your character normally. It's fine. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you have a bit where you, she's big. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, everybody! I'm Snail. Uh, I'm playing Sugi. Uh, he has not been at this uh, heightened emotional state for a consistent amount of time. In spoiler, 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 spoiler. So he's doing just fine. He's actually fine right now. He is so fine. Um, he is definitely calming the horse. The horse is not calming him. He's fine. Why the fuck are you looking at him? <laughs> <laughs> and hi, I'm Jay. I am playing Francesco Elizabeth Steinbeck, a.k.a. Mux Sensory Overload! <laughs> <laughs> My NPC has a migraine whenever looking at her. <laughs> yeah, this was entirely unintentional and I'm miserable about it. <laughs> Okay, so where we left off last time was halfway through a conversation. Um, we have a furbolg, kind of, the, is, who's very tall, who is even, well, not uh, not actually even more big than Biff, because Biff is very big, but even more tall than big. Talking about, like, square footage, probably not. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah, ex yeah. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> exactly so, yeah. No. We have a furbolg standing in front of you who can 
kind of see all of you, but hasn't seen, hasn't like seen, seen Sugi yet. Uh, who has gone like, ah, yes, you guys and your arrivals here. You have like conjuration magic on you. The fuck is up with you? And uh, what now, basically? <laughs> Why you look like that? <laughs> he has also gone ahead and gone, shoo, as in move backwards, and we have not. Yeah, Don't forget yeah. that. Uh, yes, move it was very forward. much. He was he was drawing a line around you know a bit of the forest that looks uh. Not great, and went, hey, don't go in there. Some mm-hmm. days you just have to draw a line in the sand. Exactly. <laughs> and say, what am I willing to deal with today? Not two. Not, 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 two. Two. <laughs> not this, points at Frankie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, and okay. we found out that the ground is evil. The, uh, well, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that ground whole bit is of- bag. Fearbug is demigod, and Frankie also has sparkle, sparkle. A little bit of sparkle, sparkle. A little bit, just enough to trip it. Also, oh, one little bit of flavor that I want to add in now that I've actually had time to think about it. Um, I'm reading over Divine Sense, and it's like, ah, yes, powerful, good rings, like a heavenly music in your For ears. For sure. It, I mean, it doesn't have to be literally like no, that. But... No, it doesn't have to be. But you know what I reckon would be, I just, flavor-wise, what would be really nice is when you look at the Furbolg, you don't get less, uh, like, heavenly music and more the very steady beat of a drum and the deep buzzing drone of didgeridoos i was just going to suggest if you didn't bring that up (laughs) so like i now actually know ah yes this is the sort of like nice uh, less nice music it's more kind of leans more towards neutral than anything else but there is kind of uh uh, like a steady power there okay that's so good neat 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 all right all right um Seeing actually how bad the ground is, Biff might. How far back is she? Uh, you guys were thirty feet away we're from still, the line. Yeah, we're still pretty much in the same spot. They, they, he came over to us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Um, Biff probably just takes like a little step forward and like pulls Miss Foam back along the ground. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Drags a little bit, just like like Eek! like five ten feet. Like hey, <laughs> questionable. Oh. She doesn't know where Sugi went. Um, just leaves a little square trail in the like the leaf litter. <laughs> okay, so very much like a, I'm just gonna. She's confused. She looks the, the, the at Biff. Protecting the boss. The football <laughs> uh, takes a step well, Frankie's forward behind to her. I think follow. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because again, did we like. He would like you to get away from where the ground is evil, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um. She's, she. she <laughs> excuse me for a second. Uh, Sorry if we've put you in the uh, uncomfortable position of being our spokesperson for the party because you're the only person who can talk to him. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, she, uh, uh, she will say in Elvish, um, I, 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 what I said previously is that we don't have a place to go back to or at the very least keep safe overnight you see that going further is not ideal but it was the only direction we were given towards uh, being known as the keeper That is me. Yes! Confirmation! I see. It is one of my names. It is... mm, Do you know how names tend to... I, um... I do not have a name, but the 
creatures here call me keeper of the glade and glen, protector of that which ends and begins and exists in between, bringer of rot and rebirth. So, the creatures call me keeper. I was given a name once, though, by my heart. And he uses a word that is, uh, it means heart, but it also means life and death at the same time, because languages can do fun things like that. Um, but my heart sister gave me the name Jerome. I love it. <laughs> it is, uh pleasure to meet you, Jerome. My name is Miss Flum Forrester, and she gives the cutsy again. Uh, he does mimic you a little bit with like a little nod, sort of, like, uh, your little eyes closed nod, ears kind of <laughs> flapping down a bit as he does it. <laughs> what is the point of non-human species if you can't do expressiveness through ears? Food! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ears, ears, ears. It's about the ears. <laughs> Man, you know Biff has just been watching these two converse. Like, this is kind of just how she views the world normally, even though she doesn't speak this language. Oh boy. But I think she is she's paid enough attention, like, I don't know if she's ruled this guy out as a threat yet. Uh-huh. You, you, but he's you. not an immediate threat. He's not an immediate threat. He's not an immediate <laughs> threat. But, you know, that doesn't mean that can that won't change. Just in case. <sighs> but she's kind uh, of, like, stepped forward and made herself known a little more, so. Uh -huh. That is fair. Uh, if ooh. it is shelter you seek, I can guide you to places that others would find more comfortable, or if you wish to meet with other clans or townships, I can guide you, but you should leave this place. The guidance would be appreciated, yes. But she does give a very concerned glance to the forest because that looks bad, my dude. <laughs> my, my guy might be my buddy. That looks really bad. Question? Yes? Does it look anything like the stuff that we've seen from the monster that we've unleashed on the world? Uh, Frankie unleashed on the world. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we is doing a lot of work in that sentence. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. It more manifests as kind of, you know how when trees kind of start getting sick, the leaves yellow fall off too soon, the it mm. kind of things start looking a little bit grey and lifeless. So it start from what you can see around you. That's kind of what it looks like there. However, if you are seriously looking for it, and I will give you for this as a freebie, because again, Tsugi's passive perception <laughs> is you can kind of, as you're looking through the forest and kind of squinting in deeper, you are catching hints of this grey purple, uh, like splotches on some of the tree trunks. Can All right, I? Cool. Uh, here's here's here is the sad news. Uh, I want to be clear. Snail, the player, absolutely has not written this off. This is clearly the next part of the quest that I would love to participate in. Sugi, the character, is squinting at this, sees that it's not the monster that Frankie unleashed on the world, and has internally written it off. Like, okay, we can just leave. We no, didn't do this. Problem. We don't have. Not our not one, not, not our monkeys, one of ours. Not our circus. <laughs> not our forest. Not our weird splotchy mold. <laughs> nope, that's fair. That's fair. Question. Hey man. Um, can I make 
either like can I argue like an arcana check to see if this is anything that because if it's like kind of if, if there's any necrotic vibes around this if there's any kind of like uh Biff, death shit going on yeah you can make an arcana roll if you want uh biff did already pick up uh hints of like undead slash necrotic energy. yeah i just want to know if this is if like i rec if frankie recognizes she like, needs to know if frankie re recognizes it yeah yeah uh i just like really quick while we're while we're doing this i just want to think i think biff like leans down and down again and down again to his phone. He just goes, <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this is the keeper, but he is also named Jerome. She just like stands back up slowly, <laughs> look, still looks at him. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's all the information she needs. That's She's fine. a very good look. Miss Foam didn't seem like she was going to say anymore. So uh -huh. that's all the relevant information that Miss Foam thinks is relevant. Like, that's fine. That's all it that depends. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Uh, but yeah, with that uh, arcana roll of nine, um, <laughs> yeah, baby. Frankie, it's just, just, just some sort of disease going on. There's just some sort of weird forest disease. You don't know trees. You don't know what they're meant to be like. Maybe no. this is just seasonal. Yeah, this maybe this is normal. Maybe... maybe like horrible death fungus like uh spreads through this time uh, through the plants this time of year every year mm-hmm mm -hmm. i'm cross <laughs> i'm not gonna yeah. the dice don't like you <laughs> i know didn't like they didn't like me last session either oh you know what actually i think i, I think biff like looks at him and then like tips her hat <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, Jerome does that little kind of like slow blink nod head towards you as well. This is. It's, it's about nice. the ear floop. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is like you uh, have been acknowledged. Uh, this was fun with Chop Up again and say, uh, uh, would you be able to guide us or at least point us in the direction of one of these settlements? Or do you need to continue with what you are doing here? Uh, Jerome kind of stops for a while and looks at where the forest has started to kind of uh, go bad, basically, and kind of stops and just looks at it for a solid minute contemplating. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a furball who does not feel like he needs to move quickly. Okay, that's fair. I just want Even that thing of Miss Foam looking. Like, get away from that shit though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, just like, like, this is going to stretch around for a while. Is there anything that anyone wants to do? Uh, <laughs> although, shall I just go back to him uh, finally turning around and responding to you guys? I need that bit of Miss Foam looking back and just like the best she can convey it as a shrugging emotion. Like, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Amazing. The, the sides of the top half of the cube just go up. Yeah. Go yeah. Up. <laughs> You're managing to shrug with no shoulders. Uh huh. Fine. <laughs> and eventually he does turn back and um and it's like I can take you to one place of safety and point you towards the closest town or I could take you to the enclave. They will Look after you for as long as is needed. It is not settlement, but it is safe. <sighs> I do not believe I... understand what you mean by 
the conclave safety, but I think it would be better to go with the oh god <laughs> she, no she has to think now <laughs> can't like turn around and consult the rest of us yeah yeah, yeah I was thinking is Miss uh, is Miss Phone like, gonna make this decision is Miss Phone gonna make this decision yeah, this all on her own. yeah she'll, she's I mean, perfect if she <laughs> doesn't think to do it that's fine yeah she doesn't have to like yeah like, if she does stop to think for a while uh yeah the the keeper will kind of come in again and just what is it that you need? Time to recuperate, gather our thoughts, but also enough resources that we can continue on and travel as we make our way back home. If it is resources for travel and it is distance travel you need Humans will probably have more of you need. And he turns and starts looping off into the forest. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Frankie's still watching the tree. She's not, she's tuned out this. <laughs> yeah. Frankie's gone. Yeah. Is it, yeah, it's, uh, so you sh would lead us towards the settlement? Double checking. Yeah, just making fucking sure. <laughs> like, stop. I mean, he's gone, is the thing. He's gone. Yeah, the thing. <laughs> he, do he does still hear you. He does still hear you. And just, like, stops, turns back, for, uh, turns back to look at all of you, and is just like, to safety for now, and then on a path towards village. Okay. I cannot take you all the way myself. I have pointedly looks towards <laughs> the forest again, like the, the yeah, discoloration yeah. and disease again. Obligations. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Putting it lightly? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I... <sighs> Just like... Turns around, uh, and she will say, "This is the key." Uh, say in common with the this. Did, did she did tell us that the bird was like, "Yeah, there's someone called the keeper," right? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, uh, she will say, "This is the keeper." Uh, they said that they will take us to a point of safety, and then. Point us in the direction towards a human settlement where we could gather resources. But they cannot take us the entire way past the point of safety for they need to return to their duties here in the forest. Well, as, uh, hmm. as long as we are being pointed in the right direction, then uh, yes, I, th I believe we should go. Mm -mm. So you're telling me this guy's the boss? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure at the moment Ms. Foam is the boss and this guy is an informant, <laughs> to put it in your language. Mm. Well, it seems like it's his territory. It's like when one boss is in another boss territory, but it's still your boss that's in control. Okay, sure. Okay, all right. All right, Sugi, but like... He's the boss here, though. Yeah, yeah, sure. He's he is the boss here. <clears throat> boss of the trees. 
I am adding that yeah. onto Jerome's long ass name. Boss of the Jews. <laughs> Boss of the Jews. I like the implication, by the way, with you you just sticking it on that uh, Jerome uh, has just sort of accumulated all of these individ these from uh, individual titles from different people just yeah. across the time, and he's never uh, like consciously picked any of them up. They've just stuck to him. Yeah, basically, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that he does not speak uh common to forget common, yeah. common yeah, yeah. God. honestly when you were gonna have off, to tell him <laughs> when you were rattling off the names uh i couldn't tell where one name ended and another one began so i kind of just thought it was one really long title well i know that's basically what it is is the thing oh it's, excellent it, it's it is like that is good the, the entirety of uh his title so <laughs> oh excellent boss, boss of the trees, trees now counts <laughs> mm-hmm just, just append boss of the trees on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, this one say yes. We should follow the boss of the trees. <laughs> yes, we love the boss of the trees. <laughs> yep, Biff just Sugi nods starts... very seriously. Mm-hmm. Sugi starts the process of getting Sleeve Irwin to turn as sharply as he can so that it doesn't go past the line, but. Getting a cart to go backwards is much harder than just turning a cart sharply. Um, Power of hawking the cart. <laughs> it goes beep. <laughs> beep, beep, I, I beep, think, beep. we established before in the session where you guys went to fucking Einquell land that, yeah, it did go beep. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It made, it made, it it made the car on noise. Steve Irwin. It's still harder on It's Steve harder Irwin. here, I imagine. Yeah. 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 Also, it was forest. There. Well, yeah, that's also a factor. Yeah. God, I'm still reeling about how that was the slowest conversation ever. <laughs> I love it. I Honestly, yes. Yeah. Correct. Good. Yeah. Considering the two people who were having it, that kind of makes sense. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Probably the fastest conversation either of them ever had. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. This is probably the first conversation that Jerome has had in a number of years. To be that's fair, or or at least like several months. He's doing quite well then, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean Biff is ready to follow. This is good. yeah. Uh, yeah. So Jerome will um once you guys start following, will again just lope off into the forest, and he will lead. He'll lead you guys in a reasonably straightforward manner but he doesn't like walk along alongside you guys he kind of walks a couple of dozen feet stops turns back ah. looks to see if you guys are following waits Vigi until game you're... quest npc yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, waits until you're almost there lopes off again <laughs> because he has like two speeds it is go and stop <laughs> so i see i also have that I mean, yeah. thankfully, he is faster than our run speed, at least. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So at least we don't have that hell going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he exactly. keeps re- he keeps reaching the edge of the radius of like <laughs> what it's being told to do. Yeah, and just just like stops. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So that's how it goes. Unless you guys like make an active effort to of, of like for one of you individuals making an active effort to keep up with him and stay alongside. Uh, yeah, it's gonna oh, continue. Oh no, being way that stop in hell. And stop. <laughs> Um, There's no way in hell Tsugi's doing that. Mm -hmm. Tsugi is with Sleeve Irwin. Again, for Sleeve Irwin's comfort, not his own. Definitely not his own. He's not not flipped the fuck out. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, Not uh, in terms of uh, keeping up with uh, Jerome, but um, Frankie would lean down to uh, uh, Moosefoam and ask um, on the way, did you ask him about what was going on behind that line? It, I mean, it. I I tried to work out what exactly it was, uh, but uh, you know, I, I haven't really been out of the city in a very long time, and plants are not exactly my forte. Uh, I was, but uh, they seem to. They are probably yours, and they seem to be his. Uh, did you get any kind of? idea of what is going on and why he was so keen to keep us away from it i i did not gather information myself so it did cross my mind and i intend to ask once we make our first stop 
Yes, yes. Uh, then, uh, as long as you remember, I, I don't want, uh, just, uh, I don't want uh, us to have picked up any kind of, uh, monster tracker, uh, on the, just, just by being near the place, so, be probably best to be, to be certain. Uh, that is fair. And, you this know, like, like, too fucking late. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, she'll do her fucking thing, like, I, I, I like to think that she, She's mechanically as fast as anybody else, but like she probably sits on the the wagon. Um, but if there's like a cursory check that she could do to see, like, yes, yeah, there's any weird sort of substance lingering on the cart. Has any alterations been made while we've been like s- sat in that area for a bit? Like, uh, yeah, give me an investigation then. Okay. I mean, we mm. didn't cross the line. To be clear, yeah. we did not cross the line. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a cart. It's a cart. I mean, you can request other people also look if you just translate what you learned <laughs> from <laughs> from Elvish to okay. four is Grolic. The good thing is a four is I will say uh, you don't you don't know you know enough to know that you don't know. <laughs> it looks fine. It's you can't see it's, it's also it's moving. Like the one thing I think she'll try and look at is the wheels, but since it's going, yeah. she can't get a good look at that. Um, <laughs> Gets a little dizzy again. <laughs> it starts I to just, feel sick. I, I'm just imagining yeah. like this one shot of Ms. Foam standing on a wheel and just the wheel rotating and Ms. Foam rotating perfectly and then vanishing <laughs> off through the bottom of the screen. Several seconds later, she reappears up on the rising, like rotating up on the other side of it. Oh my god. Did we just roll wheel, over a card. body? What was that? She's <laughs> <laughs> fine. She's fine. She's fine. Uh, this is no. too many shenanigans I will still absolutely allow. Fuck the laws of physics for the, in, like, in this regard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, it's going to work if it's funny. Exactly, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, in regards to, like, questions, like, yeah, she, one, she doesn't know. She didn't investigate herself in that area, nor did she ask or how she, like, as Kai said, she knows that she doesn't know. And also, like, it's, she, she just, like, insight, like, a little, like, Inside to her, she knows everybody is fucking stressed in one way or another, or she doesn't want to add more stress onto it. She, she doesn't. She she done the thing because Frankie asked. That was on her mind, and she wanted to help out with that. Aww. Uh, but like, she doesn't want to just add more concern to everyone. Everybody needs Aww. to find their fucking feet first before yeah. <laughs> she start adding more. <laughs> Problems onto the laundry list. I mean, that's Amazing. that's not a bad idea, frankly. Uh, yeah. So, are you gonna ask anyone for help here? Uh, well, with that, no. no. Okay. <laughs> After what we just said, no. Nah. Yeah. No, yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. In that case, you're gonna be walking for a while again you having to deal with fucking travel times it's gonna be a solid hour of following up. all right guys are you ready for a solid hour of uh yeah <laughs> real like time walking through the forest we're, we're one touch up. doesn't exist <laughs> we're gonna start like start up some ambient noises going on with cart in the background this. and we're just gonna sit here awkwardly desist <laughs> please oh save God. me <laughs> okay uh eventually you guys get to uh basically this like this slight clearing with a very large overhanging rock in uh one section of it so it's not on fully forming a cave but it is forming an area that is sheltered from a lot of the ele- elements so wind and rain kind of the rock keeps out of the way you guys nice. can actually even see um, remnants of where a campfire has obviously been lit. Not recently, but you do have like little scorch marks on the rocky ground. And uh, Jerome immediately uh, just immediately goes over, shoves some other rocks out of the like 
kind of just shuffles rocks around to clear up some slightly nicer area that isn't littered with thousands of pebbles. <laughs> nice. Um, and generally gestures you to take your place again, and once you guys start unloading, he will just walk off into the forest again without nice. saying a word. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gonna be back, right? Miss Foam, you, you made him promise he'd be back, right? Your pinky promised? Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna fight that I one mean, later. You, oh. can yell, you can be like, hey, wait, he, he'll, he'll understand that you're saying something to him, I'm sure. <laughs> Biff's not gonna do it. Like, you'll recognize the name. <laughs> Miss Foam didn't tell Tsugi the name. Tsugi oh, doesn't know was... shit. Uh... I mean, she was. She tried. I mean, on the way, we definitely would have had a little bit of a. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like uh, you guys can say conversations have happened while you guys were traveling. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, fair, yeah but she, it's funnier. Like, Sugi doesn't know. <laughs> is it? I think it's maybe Sugi can't pronounce it. <laughs> that's got an it Elvish Heron? accent. Heron? It's got an Elvish Heron. accent that Sugi just doesn't have the way to. He can't form his mouth into those sounds. I mean, he he knows. Sylvan, but Sylvan is like, it's like Latin to a Latinized language, the way that Sylvan is to Elvish. So mm -hmm. it's like, not it's, useful for communication. It's really not, uh, at least, at, well, at least not with elves. Um, <laughs> for, for the Fae, that's an entirely different story, but that's not a story that you yet have unlocked the tragic backstory for, so. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh I, I mean, he's asking Miss Foam. He's not flagging Jerome down. Okay. Uh, I'm just saying you could, if you're yeah. that concerned. But if, if well, he, yeah, but if he Sugi isn't yet. Aims his concern at Miss Foam, she'll like speak up and see, like, uh, 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 where? Mm. <laughs> I should say that. Where are you going? Uh, I think it, <laughs> it's at the point it was on like the very very edge of hearing with uh, at that point and you couldn't actually see him as he vanished in the trees mm -hmm. and then you hear him walking back uh, and just <laughs> looks at all of you and minds like putting something in his mouth and then rubbing his tummy <laughs> <laughs> <In love. laughs> and then goes to walk off again a little bit slower kind of just the awkward like are you gonna ask me anything else <laughs> I was like, oh, I see. I'm, I'm escorting a bunch of morons. Yeah. It's oh, fine. he's got a tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that's it. I think he's gathering food for us, or at least themselves. Yeah, we should we should probably make sure that um, if he brings any food back, we can still eat it. Um, hmm. Biff, you said you had that thing where, like, if you eat bad stuff, it doesn't hurt you, right? Um, yeah, I got a, uh, stomach of steel, <laughs> so I could eat whatever. I mean, hopefully this not. This is not Let's... strictly true. Biff is immune to disease. She's not immune to poison. <laughs> hey, great. Shugi oh, isn't wait. aware of that. <laughs> So if it's, he... like, a bacteria, I guess, <laughs> that would, like, make her sick sit. Like, I don't know where the... the... With the what is I guess the, if the it's line. a bacteria, she's immune to it. If it's a chemical, she's not. Like the level of granularity I mean, like that, kind of that thing? we're at. Yeah, like, I mean, what, are, like... what are the definitions of this here? Hmm. Because like... poison is usually a chemical process. Yeah, like, yeah. We're poison... playing Stump the DM and we're sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, I would say uh, po poison is going to be like a chemical thing that actively interferes with your body doing other chemical shit. Uh, and like it shuts down your liver or similar. Yeah. Whereas uh, disease. I don't think she's going to get food poisoning. Yes, yeah. It's like, he's... so it's sort of like. Is it food poisoning caused by bacteria, therefore giving you a stomach ache, or is it like poison poison because you shouldn't be eating that? Yeah. Is it got... cyanide? <laughs> sort of thing. Well, that's literal poison. Food poison Did you is like eat the accidental a fox one. Glove? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's the that's... intent of the poisoning. <laughs> but, like, as I was saying. So, yeah, she goes, yeah, I got pretty strong stomach. 
so we can send stuff through Biff uh, and just make sure that it won't hurt us. And we can have Miss Foam on curing duty if any food hurts us. Now, if any food hurts us, we're in big fucking shit. <laughs> but at least we'll know we're in big fucking us. shit rather than just staying in the mysterious. <laughs> We, we're not gonna make it three days. It's fine. This is fine. It's fine. <laughs> if oh, God. it does seem... No, is this guy gonna bring back bad food? No, but he doesn't know what we eat, Sugi says, simplifying a little bit. Uh-huh. So, so we why might didn't bring... you just ask? Um, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the only person he can talk to is Ms. Foam. Uh, and uh, he, he sort of, like, gets close to Biff, leans in a little bit. She's a little bit slow, although she's still the boss. So uh, sometimes she forgets to ask important questions like, can we eat the fucking food here? How loud was that? Does Ms. Foam hear that? I want her uh, to be looking at a bug in the background and I don't want her to hear this. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> She's just watching, watching the bug really cool. intently. I've seen a bug like that before. It's a very important bug. <laughs> it's a pill bug. So it like <laughs> curls up and Miss Foam sort of like arcs back. But yeah. then like leans back in forward because oh my like, god, it's just did yeah, something. The... <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that art. Yeah, I remember that. Now it finally has a place it's in canon. the canon. Yeah. Just as go. everything goes to shit. Perfect. <laughs> Good. I love this so much. I love this so much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Biff, I think Biff just goes, oh, uh, okay. So that is internalized. So do I got, so do I got to fight the food or no? <laughs> Suki stops. His hands start like doing a gesture. Um, I'm, uh, a gesture like he wants to give her neck a big hug with his hands. <laughs> no, actually, surprisingly, it's not a wringing your neck gesture. It's sort of okay. like a thinking gesture. Okay, um, okay, okay, okay. I, I think I'll just add this as flavor because I don't think any of you have seen him do it enough, but I would like to mention... Um, at, at, now that you've guys well now that the audience has seen like what Toon Sign looks like uh, he often gestures with his hands um, and it's actually a lot like sort of like micro fragments of what he is saying in like Toon Sign oh. um, huh. and it's it, it's not like full stuff he doesn't even like complete the full gesture but uh he 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 knows Toon Sign well enough that oftentimes uh when he's like thinking through his words, he's also like he, uh, he's dimming. prepared to use his hands with his words. Dimming. Yeah, he's dimming. <laughs> it's a good stim. It's a helpful stim. Don't no, look it's at really it. Good. <laughs> um and he's sort of like And then, and then he pauses and stares into a distance because I got so distracted, I literally forgot what Biff said. So do I gonna <laughs> fight the food or no? Right. Uh, I mean, probably not. But if you gotta fight the food, don't worry, we'll all fight the food. Okay. You, you won't be alone, bud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's good. We've, I love Biff. We've consoled the big. We've got... The little doing translations. Uh, God damn it! I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey, Frankie, how you doing? <laughs> oh my God, girl, get me the tea. That's painful to listen to. Suki <laughs> <laughs> is literally like rubbing his eyes as he does the whole thing. He does the little like hand kink as with the tea, but Kink. it's clearly paining him too. <laughs> I'm I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, this is the worst. I love it. <laughs> uh, uh, Frankie is just going to look at you. <laughs> Again, we're all jet like to Helen back. <laughs> She's not been allowed to take part in the conversation. 
<laughs> she's speech starved. <laughs> yeah, she's just like she's she not. hasn't been speaking enough. She's she can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's like people aren't listening to me. <laughs> but no, I she's mean, just gonna look at she. She is just gonna kind of. She, you've got her attention, but she's looking at you kind of unimpressed. <laughs> How can I feel a sense of control if I'm not dominating the conversation? Exactly! <laughs> well, Suki is giving you a big old offering of conversation. You're the one who's turning it away. <laughs> what is Suki it? sort of like looks for a second, two seconds, <laughs> three seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna go take a nap. <laughs> You got three seconds of opportunity. He handed you a conversation on a platter. He takes the platter away and goes to fucking eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? No, you know what? That works. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh, um, God. Everybody's in a terrible mood. <laughs> yeah. Miss Foam is done looking at the bug. Um, and I just, 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 uh, this is just to throw this out here. Can she try and look for uh, a sprig of mistletoe? Yeah. Mistletoe specifically. Sure, give me survival. Oh, you get saucy. What did I, what do you have to roll? Survival. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. She's not going too far. She's trying to stay in that clearing, but if she can find it, it will be very helpful. 21. Okay, so thing is, plants, are, as I established uh, in the previous session, specifically to Biff, but the plants are different here. You don't. These plants can grow in the same place. Yeah. Some have a wider range than others. Yeah, like some have a wider range than others. I think then, but I mean, like, again, you are on the literal opposite side of the world. Uh, <laughs> and while you are actually in a similar ish climate to uh, the forest the forest that you came from is foam it's things are very very different however uh with a 21 that's high enough that i'm actually gonna say you don't manage to find mistletoe exactly but you manage to find another plant that feels very very similar in terms of its quasi magical vibes so uh you reckon that this you managed to find something that probably is little bit antibacterial uh it does have the similar sort of berries and leaves in not quite the same kind of shape it's not quite the like the very like the long oval one they're a little bit uh more pointed than that but you do manage to find something that if it were for being used as a spell and or to very mildly poison someone <laughs> this plant would probably be the equivalent okay She'll regional try. variant exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect she'll take a like a, a few not too much but uh enough uh it's... and then just chew on that a little no, not 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 literally yeah please, just, please, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, poisonous uh-huh but she'll hold on to that what kind of spell do you have that needs mistletoe that's actually at this earlier which one fucking was it again would you would you like to know wouldn't um, you like to know monk yeah, boy please do, please <laughs> please remind me I, again i was looking at it but i can't remember which one it was <laughs> it's good berry yeah that was yeah! it <laughs> that was it <laughs> need to make a fucking shopping list of components if we're playing the game <laughs> yeah and i mean I, admittedly if you have component pouches uh, you are allowed to hand wave shit because that's specifically what fucking component pouches are for. But... Yeah, so it's also fun to think about the actual gathering of objects. Yeah. Um, it's... Also, like, it's you're in a forest, prime place to gather a bunch of stuff. Miss mm -hmm. Foam's getting those herbs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Miss Foam would like to enlist people, again, we're, we're around. Tsuki's, Tsuki is literally laying down putting his hands behind his bed putting one hand behind his bed and one arm like over his, his eyes his to take a head. nap he he could he could he you, you, you can ask him something if you dare 
You can ask him for help. <laughs> Biff is uh -huh. twiddling her thumbs. <laughs> I love her. I know I say this every time, but I love her. <laughs> it's important that everybody knows. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're valid. I also love her. I mean, I mean, yeah, she could ask for help, but it's not she she's just picking some fucking babies, and it's not like she needs many. <laughs> <sighs> you could have them searching for different plants. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question for for you for her, Liz. Does she feel safe going out in the forest alone? Oh, absolutely not. She's not <laughs> going into the forest alone by herself. I mean, she's not going far, but mm -hmm. she's just you know, trying to go to. Yeah, all things she's not considered. Mm -hmm. So she's just like. I don't waiting. think it'd be wild for her to be like, "Hey, can someone come with me?" Actually. I mean, fair, but again, she's trying to she's trying to be cautious. She is trying to make sure she is in eyesight with the group. Um, if she was going All to right, adventure out there, funeral. she would. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's more that she doesn't see. She's not necessarily going to go wandering off. It's more like, uh, what can you uh, find along like the edges of? I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> what's what's that one tweet? Uh, Look out, short kings! I saw you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss Foam, the moment that you step out of uh, the clearing, roll initiative, no. <laughs> well, if Miss Foam screams hard enough, literally Tsugi actually would, he would come. He's not that much of a bastard. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, okay, question just like on a uh, metagame level. All of us seem to be uh, a little bit lost just in terms of game yeah what are we yeah. planning on doing because we've been talking for quite a while and we all seem to be a bit floundery and i, mean, I wonder we're if, loud i just wonder if like uh do we want to i why you want to do shit if, if you wanted to actually <laughs> talk about this uh like from like uh in game it might be an idea for your characters to go like okay so what the fuck's going on what are we doing mm. uh the other thing because uh, jerome is gonna come back after a while and he will start preparing food and i will talk about that afterwards but right now i think that you guys do need a tiny bit of space to yourselves to work out what you're doing mm. okay. uh, frankie <laughs> you get yeah, to dominate you. the conversation <laughs> <laughs> is this a character call out or a me call out? <laughs> it can be both. <laughs> fucking noise boss! I'm trying to take a fucking drink, how dare you? I mean, I could do something if we really want, but you know. I mean, we always we always appreciate Biff doing things. Mm -hmm. We we do appreciate Biff doing things. But yeah, this is it's whether you guys want to metagame conversation <laughs> things or if you want to do uh, in character roleplay, it is up to you. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind either way. Uh, I just wanted to check in with other people. That's all. I mean, I, I, I do believe there's some stuff that Miss Fung could start hashing out, but I think she's also in the place of, like, well, yeah, Jerome hasn't spoken to people for, like, that, uh, for, like, months as well. It's not she's the same with Miss Foam, but, but she's in a similar boat. Like, I've never had to hold a conversation like that for so fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> and in this specific, uh, like, actor's sense, she's kind of just kind of trying to find her sense of self and is expecting other people to be like, okay, what do we do? But if she sees that's not the case, she might chime in. So she's also in a ready spot to, like, uh, initialize that conversation. Okay. Um, okay. At this okay. point, everybody, uh, everybody, everybody, good. God, I am so tired of this. What the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> Can I just say really quick? At this yes. point, um, Biff has. Kai, you said there's rocks, right? Uh, yeah. They, they, there's like small rocks, like pebbles, and uh, like the largest one is probably gonna be maybe head sized. Uh, but yeah, she there started are picking up large-ish rocks and like breaking them in half. <laughs> her hand, like just with her hands wow that's her stim that's her stim <laughs> and she's valid give me a strength roll oh my god sure. and not athletics because athletics isn't actually for just pure strength it's for things like climbing swimming you don't think rock breaking is athletics no 
<laughs> I love you, I but this is one sticker. of the rules I'm actively cracking down on. <laughs> 16. Yeah, okay, you can break some rocks. I can break some rocks, yes! <laughs> Like, you do have oh. a little bit of trouble with some of them, but you do manage to still break some rocks. Good. I've just, I've just had a thought. Um, purely Kai, it's the only thing she's good at. You can't take this from her. <laughs> no, not allowed. <laughs> I've just had a thought um, that is uh, purely for me. Kai, question. Yes? Uh, you know how uh, we get to, uh, if you're a magic user, you get to... Uh, reorganize your spells and shit like at the like uh after like each day yes because we've like gone down and moved in the time zones mm -hmm. <laughs> would it still be possible for me to do that like more or less okay, now so because... <laughs> technically you do it you would normally do it as part of a long rest you ah, guys okay. are about to have a long rest so yes if you want uh, Frankie can sit down and start going through her spellbook if you want. Okay, that's what she's doing then. Hooray! <laughs> okay. I'm uh, <laughs> like, I to take comprehend languages! Uh -huh, there we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm to talk! But it's not, she doesn't have tongues yet though, does she? No, but comprehend languages <laughs> counts. <laughs> comprehend okay, languages you could, a lot. Can you cast it twice or is it concentration? Uh, it's... Uh, I'm curious. It just it just says duration yeah. one hour. So, so yeah, no, you can you could cast it on everyone, and it's because it's a ritual cast. Um, you don't even have to use spell slots. So mm -hmm. if you wanted, like, you could comprehend languages on everyone. Uh, you know what? I'm I just am... saying because even if you comprehend what he's saying, he's not have any fucking clue what you're saying. Oh, that's that's fine. Yeah. Frankie's okay with that. That's kind of normal. Um, but like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna fight with the computer for a second. Do you want me to pull it up for you? Cool. No, yeah, it's okay, I've got it here. Um, but... Okay, okay, everybody. Uh, Tsugi gets up, uh, finds Miss Foam, picks Miss Foam up, plops her down near the campfire, goes over to Biff, uh, grabs a bunch of the bigger stones that she hasn't Go, uh, get. started cracking yet, uh, Moves it over to the fire. Goes back to Biff. Up, up, up. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on. no, she'll over, go. Over. She'll go. It's not, a, it's not too hard. Uh, goes over to Frankie. Sees that Frankie's actively consulting the book. Yakes the book out of her hands. Oh my god. Oh my the god. Fire, drops it down. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> like, actually. Like, I know. We're sitting around a campfire. We're waiting for somebody to come back. No, what are we Freaking going rocks? to do about this Yes, thank you, Beth. Thank you, Beth. That's, again, a literal thing. I'm talking metaphorically. What the fuck are we going to do about the fact we're halfway across the fucking planet from the people Do we even know this yet? Uh, do we know this? I don't know it's where we are! Frankie, you guys... I don't know where we are! <laughs> if I remember correctly, it's you guys uh, don't know for certain. You mostly just know that you are lost. You've had Ms. Foam notice that, hmm, the sun doesn't seem to be in the right place compared to where you just were. You have, um, and Frankie has a strong suspicion that you are okay, on the okay. other side of the planet, but not she's a certainty. She's probably shared that. She's talkative <laughs> enough that eventually she's just going to start talking about whatever. Has she, or are you all traumatized too much? Um, uh, no, Frankie has not, uh, Frankie would not have uh, brought it up. Oh, rip. Uh, mm. Right away. Um, but no, with, uh, Tsugi, uh, having his, uh, little outburst, she is going to, uh... Oh, like, I don't know where we are. Well, actually... <laughs> yeah, more or less, she's going to grab her spell book back. Um, and, yeah, oh, God, sorry, my brain is not, uh, my brain is not forming words right now, and I mm -hmm. want to roleplay this, but... Ugh... If I reckon you can say the generalized gist of what you think Frankie would say, uh, rather than needing to go word for word if you want. Yeah, no, the gen the, 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 the generalized gist of uh what Frankie uh would respond with is um that uh yeah, halfway around the world or not, probably yes. Uh freaking out is not going to uh, do anybody any any good? Nor is stealing certain people's spell books whilst they're trying to work out how to uh, make it so that we can all at least understand the only person who 
cat who seems to be able who seems to be inclined to help us. <laughs> and uh if we're going to uh freak out, uh people should go uh stand over on the edge, scream until they feel better, and then come back when they're ready to be a person. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Okay. Um, so you're saying rather than figuring out, do we want to go to the nearest uh, possible location that has humans? Do we want to travel across the fucking world ourselves? Do we want to figure out where the biggest transportation circle is and fling ourselves back to Toon Town? You would prefer that I just go scream. That's what you're saying. That's what she's saying. That's what she said, right? Right. She you is guys, saying you guys that we should be calm and we should be centered in this stressful situation. Yes. I have Crack been calm. I have been calm for so fucking long. While Frankie made a monster. Ms. Foam hasn't told us anything. And Biff, I don't have an insult for you. You're you're just a mook, and I accept that about you. But I just... Crack. <sighs> She breaks on a rock. <laughs> Biff's fine. Biff hasn't done anything wrong. Biff is perfect I in have, every way. I have been hyped up and feeling emotions for the first time in who knows how long for weeks. I think I'm allowed to have a little bit of a mental break. <laughs> Emotional break. I don't, I don't, I don't, I I. He's, he's like <laughs> rubbing, rubbing his face with his hands, uh, hands fing fingers carting into his hair he uh he at this point has gone from okay let's figure out what's going on to i am flipping out somebody please take somebody help 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 anyone know anyone know calm person that, i was literally just gonna say does anybody know calm emotions uh, no god this could try and intimidate him into submission <laughs> i am charm person <laughs> don't think that's gonna help <laughs> no, no yeah i you're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way <laughs> talking to him yeah she's crying what a hard she she does look sympathetic question mark i she emotion hard on this square <laughs> <laughs> um like if he if he still needs to yell at someone, she's still fucking dead. She's Oh god. You know what? She's gonna do it. Biff's gonna do it. Uh she's going to stand up, put a hand on Sugi's shoulder, and stare him down. Okay. <laughs> are uh, you rolling to intimidate or are you if just you want me to roll? Yeah, intimidate versus uh wisdom save, please. I this is hmm. Checking. It's a sixteen <gasps> wisdom save and only Ooh. a fifteen intimidation. Oh, that's so, really close though. Yeah. Okay. So Tsugi, Biff is big. Like mm -hmm. you already knew Biff is big, but Biff is big. <laughs> her hand. She barely has like one finger on your on your shoulder as such and the rest of her hand is kind of just hanging off the edge because oh she big. Mm -hmm. But you're not scared as such. You're not actually you're still a little bit too wound up to be properly intimidated. It's almost like grounding probably. Just like Big weight. Focus all your anxiety in one direction. Mm -hmm. So he's he's still like visibly coming apart at the scenes. Haha! -ha, only one person is gonna understand why that's a joke. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you but... for it, by the way. <laughs> hey yo. Um. Yeah, I mean. What? 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 I mean, does he calm the fuck down? He stops. Does he want to sit down and does he? Yeah, does he want to 
calm down, sit the fuck down so we can um, actually do something productive? Well, he stops talking, so. Close enough. <laughs> That's a success. <laughs> This is me a little bit in Biff's brain, by the way. It's not Mock being, like, <laughs> mad. No, 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 no. She's not- she doesn't always express herself with words. Mm -hmm. just, just Sometimes vibes. she's expressed herself with big hand. She's expressed herself <laughs> with large. But that's basically the, the meaning of that, is like... It's almost a sit down, shut up, like, we're all here. Like, all of us are in this shit, okay? <sighs> And if he sit, if he sits down, yeah, she'll go back over. She'll break another rock. <laughs> if we do want to talk about plan of actions, we need to know exactly where we are so we can figure out a way that we can approach the settlement and we could acquire a map of some sorts, or at least someone who knows this area in relation to others. That sounds like a perfectly reasonable and sensible idea. Thank you, Miss Worm, for contributing that. She's not trying to be sarcastic, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. I just realized that that it sounded very sarcastic as I was saying it. No, that's just her tone of voice. She's she's trying to be genuine. Um, it's just her normal, her it's resting just, sarcasm. <laughs> resting voice. sarcasm tone. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, oh, yeah. Did uh, our uh, keeper friend uh, say how close uh, the, the, the settlement was? He said that he couldn't take us the entire way himself, so presumably it is fairly far. Uh, me trying to remember, did he no, say he how far? He, he no, didn't. he didn't, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, he did not specify how long the journey would take, though I believe part of the reason why he won't go to the entire way might also be because he doesn't want to leave this forest premises not because it might be too long mm. no that is a good point yeah. well uh uh we will ask him when he gets back uh so uh <laughs> So I just thought, um, uh, Frankie is, she is going to, uh, reach for something in her hammer space, remember that all she gets is glitter, and, uh, then turn to the, the, the back of her spell book, and write down, <laughs> um, like, ask how, f like, ask how far it is to settlement. Good. She is going to start making a list of, uh, oh my god, all her planners. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the planners are gone. <laughs> She's very she she is very upset about this. <laughs> Forget everything else. My planners aren't around. <laughs> yep. The organization. <laughs> Boy. There is also the question of the sending stone. What about it? We, uh, we did try, uh, up on the hill earlier. It didn't, uh, it, uh, it only got, it only got static. It I mean, got... have we tried it in this clearing? Mm. Uh, Frankie pulls it out and gives it a go. Still static? No, actually, the moment- Oh! Wait, uh, you had it in your hammer space, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, you do have to make me a hammer space. Oh, you had it in her pocket. 
Oh no, she's she's a girl boss. Her pants don't have pockets. <laughs> she had no pockets for Frankie. Please start making me fumble rolls. Oh my god, I, I still haven't made that table. So okay, fine. It's glitter again. It's just you're just gonna be getting nothing but glitter. <laughs> Can I try? Handfuls and handfuls of glitter. <laughs> it's just going. To... It's like you need to get the glitter out and then you hit the the fumble table once yep. it's prepared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, how is it? Can I just roll again? Yeah, just roll again. It's okay. Okay, Six. Th- thankfully you get it yeah. the first time. It is also still covered in glitter, glitter because everything's everything's just a mess in there. <laughs> she gives she gives it a shake. Yeah. And the good news is, the moment it is out of your hammer space, you hear us very slightly in the background just, oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. oh, it's not a hammer space. Yes, hello, hello. Are you, are you okay? Are you, where, where are you? What was that? Oh, are, you okay? are you okay? Is everyone all right? Where, where are you? Good question. Where did you send us? You meant to go down. You were meant to go into this. You were meant to go into this lab, and we didn't know. And we didn't want to hear the rules. Well, we think we got to. Boffin, Boffin, <laughs> Jeremy, and Jeremy. You have uh, t- you can hear like rustling and kind of like uh, the kind of like general clutter noise of uh, Boffin being pushed out of the way. Yeah. And- <laughs> Hello, hello. Is is that there? Oh, Are you all right? David. Are you in one piece? Is everyone yes, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I was just about to ask to talk to you. Yes, uh, we are more or less, or we are all in one piece. Everybody still has their limbs and has not been mixed up. Oh, thank you. We Link. don't know where we are. Okay. We don't know where you are either. We went through and we double checked, and as far as we can tell, we did get the runes right as long as we got all your measurements right, and we're fairly sure we got all the measurements <laughs> right. Um, it's good to hear that you're all in one piece. We managed to put out the fires. Um, the what? <coughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry that we couldn't, uh, you know, answer before there was a. I don't suppose you've ever actually had to deal with the after effects of a large magical explosion, have you? No. Okay, probably only for small the ones. A little bit of interference. Sorry about that. No, we're glad that you. We were trying to. We've been trying to contact you for hours. Um, yes, no, we, thought we, we uh, I, that that I am terribly sorry. I assumed that was a matter of distance rather than things exploding. Never mind about that now. Um, how? Well, as far as we've done a bit of research with Sandy speakers, they tend to be very, very. Um, uh, like in, in magical interference does does interfere with them a lot. So uh, good to know that you're all right. And also, apparently, you're not in the place of uh, magic interference, and we're not in a magic place of interference. And oh, you're okay. rambling, dear. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. Uh, that, that's not Frankie. That's me. <laughs> you hear again rumblings again as Boffin uh, snatches the standy speaker back and just like, "You're okay. You are all okay. Well, it is very good that." Oof. Okay, so now I suppose it is a matter of trying to find, um, where the fuck you are. <laughs> oh, he's allowed to swear. He's a real kind. I forgot Uh-oh. about that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, all right. No, this is this is this is good. This is good actually. Uh, do you think? Um, uh, do you, uh, how much do either of you know about world geography? Uh, well, hmm. Now that is a good question because I have actually travelled a fair bit, mostly around. Uh, Did bit, dear. Uh, it's like, no, this is not, 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 I'm the one that is right here. I'm the one. So this is like I've been on my very new my gap year. I've my road trip all around for a while. I know this bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going. <laughs> and, so the thing is, world geography is difficult. We have got teleportation circles up in there, some major cities in other continents, but they're not always connected with others. You know, wars tend to kind of some places come in and out on fashion and the, the but so we know generalized continent shapes. Uh, we know the common names for most continents. Uh, that is about it because uh, it is. V- what you need to understand, it is very, very difficult for accurate maps. Especially when visits are involved. <laughs> visits are a bad idea, and I say this as a visit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, so I suppose if that's if we um, if that's the extent of the knowledge that we have, then I suppose uh, we can't go em- eliminating places by biome exactly. Well, no, that's fine. We have somebody here who has promised to take us in the direction of 
uh, some form of civilization, we will uh, try to get uh, names from there and uh, we will pass them along to you to be able to figure out more exactly where we are. Okay, okay, that, that is a good plan. As, as soon as you have find names, uh, aim for the largest cities that, that you can find. If you want really something in the um, hundreds of thousands of people there, if you have that, then you can probably find uh, information. Libraries, libraries are very good if you can find the libraries. And you usually have some maps. Other things are uh, major port cities. Ports mean boats. Boats mean, well, getting from A to B. <laughs> Yes, uh, that may take us uh, a little while. We do seem to have landed somewhere quite far from uh, any civilization at all. There are so many trees here. I don't like trees. What is so bad about trees? <laughs> they're, they're fine in small amounts, but this many of them. <laughs> what are they even good for? <laughs> Please, someone take this thing away from Frankie. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm imagining Miss Form doing like the like offended like. <laughs> Yeah, like, what the f- okay. You know, <laughs> sure. Like, you get- <laughs> Hey, um, uh, Tsugi, what's that, that 19 in stealth? Uh, care to tell what that's about? It's not important yet. We'll let the conversation end, and then I'll address it. <laughs> okay. okay. No, um, Frankie is going to, uh, write, uh, once again, write down, uh, find names. I don't know if I said that already. Probably did. Um, but, uh... Big cities, ports. Yep. <laughs> Library. Library. Yeah. Um, yeah. More or less, uh, she is. She is probably going to end the conversation there with promises to just like check in in uh, as soon as they know literally anything else. Yeah. Uh. Okay, okay, this is a good plan. One last note, one last note. If you can keep away from places with, the, again, magical radiation, it's going to interfere with things. If you're anywhere like that, you're probably not going to be able to contact us and we're not going to be able to contact you. And we would like to be able to, you know, make sure we didn't accidentally kill you. <laughs> um, yes, well, fingers crossed. Accidentally. <laughs> No, no, we will try to. We... What was that? Fuck. I am heartbroken. What was that? <laughs> so accidentally. Rude. Incredibly. <laughs> Dr. Boffin's going to be crying himself to sleep tonight over that insinuation. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're happy. It's it's never like had... That was a player. Thing. That was a player. Yeah. Negligence <laughs> at me. most. <laughs> yeah. Like, nah, negligence is pretty, it's in there. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, like, that is fine. That's like, yeah, again, the spell went very wrong and they are very sorry about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, um, like, are there any other questions or things that you, that anyone wants to say to them or is Frankie going to get to sign off here? Um, but, I mean, Biff doesn't really have anything specific. Oh, God. You know what? Oh, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, Miss Foam, will f wave over the sending stone saying that she has something she wants to say. Yeah, complies. To them. Yeah. Uh, and she will begin speaking but she'll like give gentle but sustained eye contact with Frankie um, and she'll start saying doctors you said that you did everything right with what you needed to put on the circle in order to transport all that you have trapped Correct. We think that we did everything right, as far as we can tell. We, again, we've we double checked uh, all all of the glyphs, as opposed to like all the measurements that we took. And uh, like, well, um, other than the stuff uh, that we 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 hope that you weren't really hiding anything, or if uh, there definitely wasn't 
anything else in the cart that uh, you guys didn't tell us you were handling? Or was there something one of you guys didn't tell us? We, we didn't get any of your sub races wrong, did we? I believe we've done everything correct according to what you have written down. But I will <laughs> say... Sorry. Yeah, Miss but... Uh, <laughs> Miss Fo, I really what? hope you understand how ominous that sounds. I just, listen. You you did your fucking best. It might be something you just did not catch. Human error. Human error is simply a thing. But she is just. This is how she speaks. She yep. can be unknowingly a little her. blunt or intense with her wording, despite meaning well. No, I love it. I love it. Please continue. She's great. Uh. Uh. But when we tried to gather ourselves and fix the cart that came with us. We, myself and Sugi, spotted a miscoloration at the bottom of the cart, a similar what? to what was spotted around the museum. I do not know if this would have affected that process, but we did not know this until we were taking here about halfway through what you were saying uh there is like a thunk and a clatter and uh some very very hurried whispering back and forth that you can't well, you can only just hear but not really because it's obvious that they dropped the the speaky spat the standy that you guys have yep um and after after a minute, they pick it back up again. And it's like the whole fumbling back and forth. And um, just to get this right, are you implying that the thing that Mister Lucky turned into might have been on the cart? Please tell me that's not true. Please, Miss Foam. Please. We didn't see anything that implied that it moved from our location from where we teleported but that does not mean it may not be here however it also could still be in inkwell and the fact that it affected the cart changed the properties of the cart and therefore was not accounted when teleported. Okay, no, yes, if the cart was, if the cart was, okay, mm, uh, okay, oh, okay, we, I need to, uh, let me ch chalk, and um, you hear, like, the Stanley Speaky being handed over back to Boffin, who was just, he, he's just silent for now. Yeah. yeah, you know it's not good when he's silent. <laughs> Time to do more maths. <laughs> Joke noises maths in the background. Maths will make us feel better. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for tidbit, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it is legitimately <laughs> true. <laughs> Until he finds answers anyway. But, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's going to be a while, because, uh, like, after several long seconds, Boffin is just... We, uh, might have to get back to you with this, uh, in a little bit. I understand. You four are all right, yeah? We are trying our best. Okay. We are going to get you home. We are going to do our best. Uh, just stay safe, please. <laughs> this is like a miss foam noises. Top ten least convincing noises. That's fine. <laughs> Non-committal miss foam noises, <laughs> and then just click. <laughs> okay, oh. so now I can address that nineteen and yeah. stealth, which was going gets everybody's passive. Um. Somewhere between when it was first mentioned that getting everybody's 
heights and measurements and all was super oh, important. Oh, buddy. Mm-hmm. And uh, the end of the call, Sugi vanished from the circle. And because that was a 19, which is so high above everybody's passive, the camera pans uh, as as it is clear that the conversation we've just heard is continuing and goes back to Sleeve Irwin, where Tsugi is, like, pressing his forehead against uh, the horse's head, uh, gently, like, rubbing the side of his neck and just mumbling, it's my fault. It's it's my fucking fault. And before anything else can happen... There's a that's like a guitar string snapping. It's on his arm this time. The side that was uh, patched up with the snake design patch that still hasn't quite melded into his design. And he hisses in pain, sort of like grabs at the arm. I can't see. Can't say I wasn't expecting that after all this shit, but sort of like goes down, presses his head against his knees and goes, God damn it. And then we pan back to the end of the conversation. People start looking around like there was a Tsugi. Now there wasn't a Tsugi. And before it's notable, uh, Tsugi comes back and said, yeah, sorry, I had to take a piss. Uh, how'd, how'd the end of that conversation go? <laughs> uh, they told us to stay safe. Um, just because of the fact that Biff had done a thing with Tsugi, it's just going to do a little quick insight check. Please do. Mm-hmm. It's a 15, it's not the worst. Oh, that's um, good Sugi is at hiding his bullshit. Can you go roll deception on that, buddy? No, you could do a deception. Yeah, he actually would roll deception on this. Mm-hmm. Let's 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 see how this goes as a contest. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh 20. boy. Oh, wow. oh, that's a four. That was a four. Um, I mean, so... Biff's initial Biff's initial thought is like, "Did I fucking scare him too much?" Type shit. But Aww. yeah. Um. So Tsugi is like, kind of sweating. It's like right along his outline, so it's kind of hard to see if you're not looking for it. Um. He, he's he's sort of like rubbing his arm, but only like rubbing one arm. He's not rubbing both of his arms like, oh, it's so cold. He's rubbing, rubbing one of his arms like it's really kind of sore. Um, he definitely does seem scared. Uh, mm. So there, uh, whether Biff takes that as he scared himself or I scared him too bad, uh, he's he's definitely scared I mean considering the margin in which she did beat his deception she probably can guess if it's her or not it doesn't seem like he's specifically scared of her that is fair um but but he's he's definitely scared um but he's trying very hard to just sort of boister back to the person uh, that he was all the way back at the Museum for Medica. Uh, almost as if if he can pretend that he's still that nonchalant, he'll become that nonchalant. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can all go back to how we were before that event. Mm-hmm. 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 It didn't, like, not... fundamentally change us as people. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it didn't. It wasn't the instigator to feeling all of these emotions that evidently he hasn't felt in quite some time, which is making him feel like he's uh, completely off his rocker. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Hmm. And I think that's a good point to have a mid-session break. (laughs) (laughs) 
great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Anyone needs to grab a snack, refill your water bottles, do all that kind of stuff uh, back in five, ten minutes, I think. I'm going to start a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Please not literally. <laughs> oh boy. We can't predict things with Liz. <laughs> Man. Things are bad. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back. <sighs> I will return.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> I have a ton of tea in my fire. <laughs> Excellent. That's what you need. Please. No, is that okay? Oh no, that's his. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. No, yes. okay. <laughs> Jay almost clicking the disconnect button rather than the unmute they button. They look the same. <laughs> they really don't. They do. Anyway, we have consumed brownie. Brownie. Oh yeah. I'm jealous now. Also, <laughs> uh, about about the whole go to uh the edge and scream. Technically, Tsugi did do that just now. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you. <laughs> It works. <laughs> Efficient. Frankie wasn't being entirely facetious about it. No, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just partially. <laughs> it's just get out like... your, get out your emotion. Yeah, it's like it's like yes, it's entirely reasonable to be having a breakdown in this situation. Um, just you know, make sure you've got an outlet for it where it doesn't uh, start to infect everybody else. In fact, everybody else, uh, he did say some words. <laughs> also, Snail, we still need to do that fucking FPS between Buffin and Sugi. I know, I'm sorry. I have not done it yet. No, we need to. It's going to be good and painful. Uh -huh. I love it. I'm very, very extremely excited. <laughs> oh, boy. It's just like... Buffin would simply like to be friends. <laughs> and I'm so sorry, but Sugi is going to sabotage that at every turn. Yeah, because Sugi <laughs> is a little bitch. Sugi is a little bitch. Love you, oh, Sticky in a blender. Yeah. <laughs> stinky. <laughs> stinky! Stinky man! <laughs> stinky man, so much trauma. <laughs> Slap Sugi. <laughs> this bad boy can fit so much trauma. <laughs> I mean, um, I think by the end of this, all of you can fit so much trauma. Oh, so much trauma! But we only oh, have yeah, a few but... my three foot cube. <laughs> <laughs> it can't fit out in our hammer spaces. <laughs> After a certain point, it'll just start to you like run to, off. You need to like chop the trauma up into individual segments so you can store it in like multiple slots in your hammer space. Oh, compartmentalize. I put my yes. trauma. I put my trauma in Tupperware and put it to the side. <laughs> dead dove, do not eat. <laughs> oh god, it's not a dead dove, but we had a very interesting rice situation where we didn't know whose rice it was in the house. Oh boy. And uh, I didn't know rice could look like that after a while. Oh no! Oh, I don't want to know. I don't oh, want to know. We don't. So Grim. that's now gone, and <laughs> along god. with the Tupperware. Yeah. That's, yeah, good idea. Sometimes you do just need to toss out the entire container. This is why you label your food. <laughs> and okay, I have it. food. I have not eaten it yet, but I have food. Okay, um, okay go, go, go. Do, you, do you need to take like another minute or two to quickly Yeah, we've got plenty of time. Uh, it's hot, so I will wait a bit. I'm going to okay. just kind of mute That's fair. for a while. Anyway, I think I want to tell you guys. I already I... apologize to Future Jay for having to listen to this, but <laughs> I'm not going to mute that part. That's too many steps. I... No, that's yeah, fair. that's fair. I, I just like again while while we're still on break, something that I just told Jay that I want to tell the rest of you guys. Like you know, before when you were trying to contact the doctors, if you had like waited another five ten minutes and then tried to contact them again, you would have heard the sound of like fire extinguishers and shit. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry. That incredible, very... incredible, flawless, unbeatable. <laughs> They've been having a rough couple of hours. Yeah. No. Oh man, it's Don't only been a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, because again, like I said, that you guys arrived here at sunrise, which we're gonna, for the sake of things, we're gonna say it was uh probably around like seven a.m. and. Sure. 
you found Jerome around midday and another, call it two hours have passed. It's only like 2pm, so it's mid-afternoon, early afternoon. It's a good fucking day, huh? I I did not clock the thing like about... Hours? Seven hours, yeah. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I did not clock, uh, or I did not consider the possibility that Didi mentioned in the commentary gallery about the scientists being dead, which, you know, that was... Like, yeah, no, I mean... Yeah. And or Liz, Liz, you and I were talking else. so much, and we never considered, like, oh, just maybe they're just dead. <laughs> maybe yeah. they just fucking died! I mean, <laughs> that was a possibility, but no, I, again, I told you you'd have a fucking inbuilt, inbuilt hint system for this campaign. <laughs> I'm not taking that away from you. Oh, yes. you mean like for the rest of the campaign, not just that one adventure? Oh shit! Yeah, no, I, I get. I'm so literally. glad. Yeah. I care them very deeply, even as Sugi is complicated. They I... they are the phone a friend when you need help <laughs> with the inbuilt point of like, okay, I'm not going to allow you help. Oh no, there's magical radiation in the air. You can't connect. There's too much static. So I I put thought behind this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the moment that you said that, I remembered a thing, and I, I'm just like, ah, <laughs> makes noises at Kai. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Anyway, are we good to go? Um, I Mox still needs to eat, right? I mean, I'm slowly eating now. It's okay. Hot. Oh, you're good. Okay. Mm, okay. Do we want to Biff go? Doesn't and talk just... too much anyway. Does anyone want to have a conversation with Biff directly? I mean, Ooh. depends on what comes up. I mean, like, there is... Because the, the thing with Sugi, she's probably just going to file that away. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Sugi will not approach her. There's a lot I mean... of things that Sugi... Oh, so Sugi you're not looks... approaching me? <laughs> I can not approach you all I like. Not. Not. The tea is important. No, I was say, oh, so you're not approaching me? Uh-huh. <laughs> Still does JoJo poses anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't. Th I just. I don't think she would have anything specific to say. She's not the comforting type. She's better at the first part of that process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the uncomforting part. <laughs> the uncomforting. Intimidate, Intimidate them, then leave them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, after all that, uh, is there more conversation that you guys wanted to have amongst yourselves now that you have like a little bit of extra information and you know the doctors are still alive? <laughs> oh, wait. Because uh... you were still in the middle of like, hey, what the fuck are we doing here? Mm -hmm. I'm glad those guys are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I don't think so. You want Sugi to talk about things? That was in character. I don't know if that was a uh, very. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm glad those guys are uh, still alive. Yeah. Didn't, I didn't am imagine too. That they wouldn't be. I mean, <laughs> it was a very volatile thing that happened to us we could have gone the other way you mean up? possibly oh no <laughs> oh no I don't like that the vision of two scientists ragdolling above the skyline of two town you know it's probably happened oh before God. Todd Not Howard. gonna lie. Just fucking starfishing and like floating about in space already in orbit. <laughs> fucking goofy laughing. Oh. <laughs> oh, <holy. laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh. Um, God, no. <sighs> we... I believe our current course of action is still a productive one though I think it would also be beneficial if we considered or at least understand that our 
appearance may be strange to the locals here if the keeper's reaction was anything to go by though I might be judging too quickly I mean, I mean no offense to the guy but he does seem like he's been out in the boondocks for approximately a million years yes I don't I don't think we would surprise people too badly, would we? Mm. Are you calling us ugly? (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) What? what, what? No, there's a specific word she's trying to reach for. Oh god, I don't know what the fuck it would be. What does it Uh, mean? It's basically like we are... Aesthetically, we do not match the surrounding. Foreign? Exotic? Out of place? Yeah, I think it would be uh, out of place. We are very much out of place. And I do not mean just by the teleportation, but visually. And I think this is probably a good moment for Jerome to come back again. Just comes striding into the clearing. He's, like I say straight, like, loping along is probably the best way to go about it. Uh, and he comes over and sits near where the uh, little campfire pit has been, stacks some wood up, lights the fire using druid cart craft because it's a good cantrip. Hey, good cantrip <laughs> though. Um, and pulls a uh like a clay pot uh from somewhere on he does not have a hammer space however because he is just so covered in various things growing on him he's (laughs) got a lot of little odds and ends stashed away and like tied to him so he kind of unhooks that and pulls it out and places it on top of the fire uses uh, another spell to summon some water to fill up the pot and uh, just watches as it has, waits for that to start boiling. And yeah, he's going to go about and start making dinner. Oh. If um, um, uh, like he's, if you want to talk to him, you can. But also, oh he's my making God, dinner. Oh my God, soup boy. Soup. Good soup. Oh, it's not going to be soup, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, remind me again, what, what does ritual uh, exactly mean? It means that you do, it doesn't. It's a ritual. It cost. takes longer, but you don't use yeah, a. You, you don't can, burn a spell slot. Yeah, on it. basically, you don't need to worry about uh, any compo- like any material components for it. It mm. takes ten minutes to cast, and you don't use a spell slot. Okay, then uh, Frankie, who uh, ever since uh, the doctors mentioned uh, the possibility of accidentally having brought Lockie along, has kind of just been. I think the best way to say it is disassociating wildly. <laughs> because mm-hmm. they yeah. Just, yeah. Um, but uh, when uh, Jerome uh, shows up again, uh, she will uh, jump slightly. But then uh, while he's doing that thing, she will uh, cast um, Comprehend Languages um, just so that we can at least... Uh, understand that i can do it on how many people can i do it on let me check oh it's just um, self uh, oh okay yeah, oh it's me. only on self seriously man okay fine well yeah. at least at least frankie understands she can listen and she can be like she can just poke miss film and be like ask him this mm-hmm. <laughs> okay so she does that then at least honestly that's yeah, funny. Actually, I mean, yeah. that, is, that, is, that is actually funnier even as it is limiting that is funnier <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is a bit but yeah, that's what she's up to for the next ten minutes. Okay. In the meantime, Jerome's will have boiled some roots, taken the, drained the roots, mashed them up, ma- mixed them together with some uh, powder that he's pulled out of another pocket, and basically he's made a dough out of like. Have you guys seen like potato flour kind of thing? Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah. hell, fucking yeah! Made a dough. And then he's scattered some mushrooms on top of the dough and then uh, some cheese. And then he started kind of roasting that on a stick over the fire. So Excellent. it's not quite pizza. It's but basically he's made pizza! pizza! <laughs> yes! 
Rome's like, we're pulling out all the stops for these weirdos. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, maybe this will make them leave faster. <laughs> no, like, that's not right. Pretty much. Oh, that Which makes me realistically, happy. realistically, takes more than ten minutes, but at the same time, just he's he's having a well, good time. He's using magic. He likes doing this. Yeah, it's magic. Yeah, he's mixing magic in there. It's some yeah. shit. Yeah. I think what we need to do out of character is we need to make sure that wherever Jerome takes us, they become buddies with Jerome, so that Jenny, so that Jerome has more opportunities to just do cooking and not only for it to be for himself and they can like symbiotically also do things for him he needs <laughs> he, he wants to adopt to the have, bog, basically he deserves to have his privacy but he deserves the option to also have friends i mean i think he'd have more time to do that if he didn't have to deal with like a fucking blight what? in the forest that so is both of you to by... assume he doesn't have friends he has many friends mostly animals but many friends <laughs> mm -hmm. that's why we gotta deal with the blight <laughs> he does not Sugi is not thinking any of this stuff by the by <laughs> okay question who is standing closest to jerome well, i assume probably miss firm which is probably a bad idea but you know flammable yeah <laughs> he's flammable he's <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. After yeah, after a while, he will hand you the makeshift feet, uh, like um, pizza. Make a little uh, gesture of like hands towards his mouth and just eat. Okay. Um. Right. She's gonna take a bit of the bread, like break it off with her. Yeah, with her hand. Okay. <laughs> um, and she's going to pass it to Biff because that was. The established plan. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. She she isn't gonna eat yeah, but that was also the established plan. She's gonna hand the rest of the bread to Biff. No, that's fair. I'm so tempted to say that Biff uh takes it and eats it like a gentle horse from your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the funniest and also paints the best picture to, to yep. Jerome about us. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He doesn't even blink. He doesn't even blink. Yeah, nice. He knows horses. Uh -huh. He knows horses. This is probably the most normal thing we've done around the poor man. Find a human looking thing that's something normal. Thank <laughs> God. Biff does not know why you've like fed this to her, by the way. Oh, good. I don't think she was ever super clear on like the plan. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even super clear on the plan, so. I don't know. It was something about like check if it's poison, because if she. If the well, effects kick the... in. Okay, sure. If it's like deliberately poisoned, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> Which we this know doesn't it's mean that you're not going to get sick from it. Just so we're clear, like. Yeah, yeah. It's... But Biff has hit points. Biff does yeah. have hit points. Biff does have hit points. <laughs> Yo, Kai. Uh, is so this I'm going to just make it a constant. No, 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 it's fine. It's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you if you're eating basically just some of the bread for now, it tastes very starchy it's an odd texture because you're not used to it and also because potato flour makes real weird textures um mm. but yeah no tastes all right tastes all right how fast is it thumbs up nice uh miss firm will break it into uh just like even amounts and give the rest to frank and sugi and she'll have her little bit Great. <laughs> she it just disappears into the darkness. She's not gonna do the funny trick where her teeth come out because that's no. that's yeah. It might be a bit terrifying. <laughs> it might be. A bit, it yeah. it perfectly. <laughs> uh, so what was that nat twenty plus two for? Uh, Frankie? Oh, it was a performance roll. Um, nothing is wrong. Like well, pizza's hey. fine. Pizza's good. Are you oh. lactose intolerant, darling? What's going on? It might be like a texture thing. Frankie I, might have a thing about texture. Like As a DM, tell me. <laughs> As a player, it is literally flavor and has no uh, relation to literally anything else. Okay. <laughs> you don't like mushrooms? Uh, no. She needs like sprinkle dessert. some glitter on it before she eats it. <laughs> Close enough. Frankie literally has not had anything to eat other than sugar for her entire life. Oh, oh my god, oh. Frankie! Oh my god, oh. she's a twin, so she can get away with it. But like, she has some very weird Honey, eating habits. Are you okay with carbs? <laughs> oh my god, We're she has to break her new carb diet. <laughs> 
is what times call for desperate measures. It's natural 20. Is, she is eating as though she uh, has normal human food every day of her life. She's great. <laughs> okay, yeah, great. That's fair. This is so <laughs> you bad, are completely also, normal. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> is this me trying to, uh, me, like me, uh, a semi-autistic person, <laughs> trying yeah, to yeah, eat yeah. any texture that I don't like? I am a normal human eating human food. I am food. a normal <laughs> human eating human food. <laughs> Yeah, ain't that the mood? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's it's decent pizza. I'm not gonna say it's the absolute best thing ever, but it's reasonably filling and it's hot food and tastes alright. Uh, and yeah. then, yeah. After that, Jerome does just kind of like settle in. After everyone is eating, eaten, including Jerome, he also has some. Uh, he kind of just like settles in a corner to watching the forest and kind of just waiting. Uh, I need to make it very clear that Biff also gave him a thumbs up. <laughs> he this doesn't have to know what it means. Okay, you do get tiny little smile and ears perking up a bit. Oh, good. <laughs> doesn't yes. doesn't fully know what a thumbs up is, but appreciate, but can tell like ah yes, positive gesture, approval. Yeah. Hey, Miss Foam. Um, tell him. A ask him. Is it safe for the horse to eat the grass here? Okay. Uh, yeah, she'll say that. She says, uh, my friend here asks if the horse could eat the grass here safely. Like, uh, Durham kind of looks a little bit confused and just, just slow nod because why wouldn't the horse be able to eat the grass? It's mm -hmm. a horse. Yes, it's looks weird. There, it looks very weird. There, but... there are grasses that are poisonous to horses. It's like well, a not it's here, like... obviously. <laughs> Why wouldn't like it be able to eat the grass here? Horse. This is horse safe grass. What the fuck? Why are you asking? <laughs> I mean, look, 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 look. Don't I think the questions, uh... blue man, with pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> Add that to the title list, please. <laughs> no, no, Sugi's the one with blue man, blue hair, and pronouns. Oh, oh, literally. <laughs> I was thinking fur bogs are usually a little bit blue. Sometimes uh, they're, they're I mean, usually tinted a bit. Blue. Blue. I'm like, a I guess bit. unless he's not. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's kind of, again more, more kind of like greens and browns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but also, <laughs> yeah. Sugi, blue hair and pronouns. Anyway, <laughs> it's just like, just like the slow, slow nod and yes, and then slowly kind of like clambers back up to his feet, wanders off just a couple of feet back into the forest, uh, and picks off some moss from one of from a rock nearby and comes back and then just can kind of, only places it down in front of Sleeve Irwin <laughs> and then goes and goes back to sitting down where he was. <laughs> Dinner is served. <laughs> Please tell me that was in character. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. I was no, that it was a good bit. <laughs> I really hope that, like, uh, for us, he got, like, you know, decent pizza that he handmade himself, so it's really good. But when Sleeve Irwin eats this piece of moss, this is, like, the tastiest thing Sleeve <laughs> Irwin has ever had. I mean... Because Sleeve Irwin is so used to tune food which always has that specific like taste but this has like texture taste that's ink. really hard to convey with like actual animation so he's like losing his mind <laughs> you eat the moss <laughs> there's like Tastes there's a mossy no, i was gonna say there's a vacuuming sound and suddenly all the moss is gone <laughs> nice oh <my> God. <laughs> i love my boy okay <laughs> Jerome is alarmed by the vacuuming sound, but you know what? He's just not going to question it. <laughs> you you guys are so weird, even to him. He's just not going to question it. You ever had those days where it's like, these tunes are already so fucking weird. This might as well happen. This might as well happen, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Uh, um, Frankie is going to ask Ms. Foam to ask Jerome uh we're gonna have to find a way of speeding this up um mm -hmm. whether he would be okay to uh, just answer some questions okay the, uh, if, we, uh, if we put them to him mm -hmm. uh 
my group has some questions if you would be open to listening and answering them he slowly nods hmm? um okay. oh, what was it what was it we did write here's the thing frankie wrote it down i meant to i didn't because <laughs> oh, i have no oh, brain cells something about settlements like ask how far oh, yeah how far yeah. was it there we go and yeah. like how far was it to the uh the thing um <laughs> just by traveling in a straight line yeah okay grooms kind of stops Kind of looks up at the sky, thinking. Two Do sunsets. A minute again. That's, uh, so two sunsets. We we have enough. We have enough food for that, right? Uh, we, yes. We, last last time we checked. Uh, yes, good. Uh, how the, the settlement? What kind of a place is it? How many how many people are there? Again, like stops, stares at the sky, thinks. Mm, maybe two hundred. Uh, so it is small, mostly hunting and farming. There are good people there, but. It is not as large as they say other villages are. Right. Uh, we wouldn't. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so uh, if they're they're good people, we're not we're not likely to uh, uh, accidentally tread on anybody's toes, custom wise. We're not going to frighten anybody. It's just kind of again. His head tilts to the side, just looking at you for a while, and he doesn't respond. <laughs> I mean that's kind of an answer in and of itself. Just so like be careful, look, yes. <laughs> squint. Not even squinting, just kind of like, you're asking me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're the only person around that we've got to ask. Yeah. I mean But yeah, so no response from him on that. I just want to make I sure am, we're I am all remember. Oh, yeah. that, I just want to make sure we all remember that this is being filtered through Ms. Phone. <laughs> yeah, I was uh -huh. about to say. Okay. The question's to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously. I was, I was assuming that Ms. Phone was just translating word for word. <laughs> yeah, essentially, if there's, a, if there's a question that she would uh, uphold, it, just not say information about, she would say, but for now, yeah, it's like word to word. It's basically getting translated. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay, uh, this is not to Jerome. This is to Ms. Foam uh, directly. Uh, she is going to, uh, and she's going to, she knows that Jerome can't uh, uh, understand this, uh, what they're saying, but she's going to uh, lower her voice anyway. And she's going to say, Do you think wise of us? to know what we might into this forest. I mean, he appears to have a lot on his hands already with uh, uh, gardening, uh, but do we bring this up? I believe it would be beneficial if we let him know. Right. Uh, well, you're you're the diplomatic one. I'll leave I'll leave wording that one to you, dear. I don't Amazing. think she's ever seen a political building in her life, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> she's the one who speaks the language, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. Um. Okay. I see. You thought about she... that before you spoke the language, huh? Damn. Yep. <laughs> Um, she will say, as we were sent here, we are under the suspicion that a, a, cre a beast that, uh, let's start this again, 
as we were sent here, we are under the suspicion that a beast that may or may not have been following us also got transported potentially here. It is a being that looks like us, but is comprised of ink and is shifting and is, it speaks with many voices. It has properties that can drain life force at least where we came from it's similar to the blight from what i can see in the area of that forest as you were talking like the for the first half of things, Jerome does just kind of like, again, that quiet looking and listening and absorbing the words and just trying to put it together. And then as you say, kind of like, ah, dangerous creature, absorbing life, kind of like the blight. You can see his kind of expression very slowly become a bit more stormy. Uh, mm -hmm. if, so doesn't seem outright furious, but certainly mm -hmm. doesn't seem happy. Yeah. You fuckers. <laughs> Listen, man, sometimes the cat follows you into the fucking house and so we don't know how to get out. <laughs> Might as well let you know before it close off your fucking face. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Frankie, <coughs> Frankie is watching you did like, this. This, this change of expression. It's like, no, no, we don't know that, we, that, it, that it's here, but we just, it, it, it might be. And we don't even know. We we don't even know if it's if it's a danger to uh, anybody who isn't like us. Min mm -hmm. uh, minimize it. <sighs> we want to let him know, not make him angry with us. Slow turn back to Jerome. <sighs> the being. This is just a. We are, we are not certain. There is a very good chance that it remains in the country we came from and it is not here. And there is a chance that it does not affect the land at all. For we are comprised of a different material to the lands here and our country included so it may not be the same effects but i feel like it is our duty to let us know for you are doing us a great service now Okay, again, there's just that stormy expression and silence for a long while. And then the keeper gets up and walks out into the forest again. Bye. <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, boy. Did you guys just completely infuriate our only guide to the point that they just fucked off? What, did, what the no. fuck did you say? <laughs> I'm sure he's just... Take it, just going to take a walk and we'll be, we'll be back soon, I'm sure. Maybe he had to take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe. Sugi's, Sugi's face screws up because he did just use that excuse. Oh, Biff did that intentionally. Yes. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. How long does this take? Da -da 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 -da. 
I sing as I try and get up the yep. fucking spell. Uh, oh, fuck, okay. It's only. I, she will. Miss Fern will sit there and begin ritual casting. Animal messenger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jerome will actually come back before uh, okay. we finish the ritual. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> um, Yay! He's... Here he's back. Wah, 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 wah. Is that Gorlix? <laughs> No, that's what it sounds like in Jerome's oh, ears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, he's, that bad news is he's still wearing that same expression and he does not seem happy. However, yeah. he has come back with um, a sheet of paper bark and, a sm- and he grabs a small charcoal stick out of the fire and just kind of pushes it towards you and taps on the paper and doesn't actually say anything right which one of us can uh can draw the best <laughs> who are the uh, two that actually what do you saw want us it? to roll yeah you... oh hmm? oh yeah Tsugi never actually saw it damn mm-hmm. yeah i think it was it was only miss foam and frankie yep yeah okay uh <laughs> Do we want to do like what's an artistic artistic representation role? <laughs> I know. Okay, I I I will say I know Biff did a role using dexterity. I will throw that out as an option. Yeah, no, that's that I was gonna say. I was gonna say, uh, you guys can make me, uh, yeah, just dex rolls, straight dex rolls for this. We've got two. We've got two sides of paper. It's all right. <laughs> oh, that is smart. <laughs> I was thinking, like, first draw it out. Wow, okay. Oh, that's We're doing one. very one. good. Yeah. Frankie, I think Frankie gives it a go. Her and hand is shaking so badly that the, she snaps the charcoal in half. Yeah. Oh, baby. She just shoves it at Miss Fern. Like, no, you know what? Why don't you give it a go, dear? She takes Amazing. it and she and she gives your hand a pat <laughs> as she takes it from you. I, uh, chocolate, you know what? Let's get the guy that's on here. Still a seven. Wow. Oh, boy. Okay, that's, I hate that... how good this is no. because this is inherently something they're utterly batshit terrified by. It would be hard <laughs> I... for them to draw it. I hate <laughs> this. If if he wants to get another piece of bark, you could have Biff give it a go. Oh no! From a description. Yeah, oh, go for boy. it. <laughs> well, she uh, knows what some of it looks like. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is true. Okay, I think. Hmm. You could also just like draw in the ground. I mean, yeah, I with can... a stick. She makes a little. She <laughs> she makes a sculpture with rock shards. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> make me a dex roll, please, to see how good your sculpture is. Oh my god. I don't think That's she. Has... Yeah, she has no <laughs> bonuses to dex. Let's go. Oh boy. Nat 20 manifesting. That's 13. 13. Okay. The best one we've gotten so far. Yeah, that's... There's, there's shapes. It's an artistic rendition of what yeah. she imagines it looks like. It probably looks more like Locky than the actual thing does. Mm-hmm. Stop that! <laughs> Listen, she didn't see anything. <laughs> he has a knife, and she will stab us with it every time we bring it up. <laughs> you create oh, you know what? Monster. Let me make a hammer space roll. Oh. Oh. God. She pulls out the hat and puts it on top. <laughs> oh boy. This is the worst. I hate this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in pain here for reasons that you don't know. <laughs> You're so fucking fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know. If you, if you I will. Minute... <laughs> nope, I'm yeah. good. I'm good. We can all go back to how we were before the Museum of America. <laughs> Yeah, it's cause fine. It's work. not like someone was part of a duo, and that was their whole shtick. <laughs> and their identity oh. was based largely on that. Pain, suffering. Okay, yeah. This is what Sugi's for. Accidentally wandering into trauma. Like a bull He's in a china shop. I hand him the fool card. <laughs> the flippin' fool! God. He All is right. the flippin' fool with that deck <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sorry, one moment. I'm just... 
Doing some rolls. I can I add this onto my abysmal roll, nevertheless. She did draw a tie onto whatever fucking shape she drew. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's it's good. very key. Okay, so Jerome picks up the uh, charcoal and the paper bark and looks at the sculpture that Biff has made and makes a couple of little strokes to as if trying to copy it and looks down and scribbles it out and just basically takes a really long, hard stare at the rock sculpture that you made. <laughs> it was um, a dex save or a dex roll? Just a dex roll. Okay. Oh, did you? Sig are you stealing the piece of paper that he just put down to try and draw? No, it? no. Siggy is doing what I was planning on doing and drawing it on the ground. It's a twelve. Okay. It's about great. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what it is. Because both Sugi and Miss Foam, not Miss Foam, Biff heard it secondhand. Both of their drawings are more legible than the people who actually saw it, but both of them display like slightly different characteristics. So, like as as you guys have already said. Biff's is a lot more based on Loki. Uh, Tsugi takes a stick and draws in the ground, and it's a lot more ink-based. Uh, a lot more big and broad, because Loki was small. Uh, but it's a lot more big and broad, and it's sort of, like, got multiple arms reaching out. Um, so, so you can see the similarities between the two, but it's also, like, differences. If Jerome was really good, he could fit all these puzzle pieces together to know what this thing looks like. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, you know what? I'm actually gonna make a fucking uh, wisdom roll. That 20 Amazing. right now. He's a druid, it's fine. He's supposed to have a good wisd score. Yeah, one moment. Can we argue advantage because he's got four different viewpoints? <laughs> Not with how shitty your drawings have been. <laughs> yeah, and all I fairness, love, we have I just also made it worse. really love the the fact that the people who did see it are worse at drawing it because mm -hmm. it literally was like didn't have a form. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it was <laughs> like that. That tracks to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, and like it's not specifically because it's having not a nap one that tracks so hard. I hate it. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> okay, so she probably didn't really memorize any of that. She didn't. Uh, she wasn't. <laughs> Ah, hair mm. mode. She wasn't in a place to be looking. <laughs> okay, so after kind of looking at everyone's representations for a bit, he um pulls another thing out of one of his pockets and it's just this uh gloopy white cream and he crushes up the charcoal stick and mixes that in with a little bit of the cream and holds out uh his like holds out his hand just with the black goop in it now and just like this? Yes, m more, more or less bigger, but yes. And he nods. Okay, he's got an idea of what it would vaguely look like now. <laughs> Tsugi, the, the snail, snail. Um, I'm gonna it's make drawing you. It's drawing gets put onto the refrigerator, Daddy. <laughs> Snail, I'm going to make you automatically fail a roll. I'm not going to tell you when it is or why. This is what I deserve. Point. I'm, I'm, I am going to make you fail at something. Disinspiration. <laughs> Write it down. Write it down. Because I do terrible things when I get nat ones. You know what I'm talking about. Nobody Amazing. else does. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you all right, that guy? Fine. I'm like... <laughs> There the we like go. barely solved. grumbled out response from Kai is oh, no! extremely <laughs> powerful. Mute, muted snail, <laughs> suppressed, banned. Snail has temporarily been kicked from this fucking oh campaign. Oh my god! No! <laughs> snail, my beloved. I think technically, because uh, role wise, I think Snail can technically unmute herself, but at the same time, no, no, fuck that. Um, <laughs> I don't want to hear that voice anymore. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, it was adjacent. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we want to. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh... Okay, do, do we want to do wanna let Snail back in and just. Uh... I need a second. You're right. I'm good. I just need a second. <sighs> okay. So. Jerome has a general idea of what this thing looks like and nods. He still looks very, very stern. Um, 
he does not seem to be in the mood for talking. He is just going to nod and then go and basically stand watch on the edge of the clearing, uh, his staff in hand. We made the poor guy go nonverbal. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Look at what you've done. You made you made the guy stop talking. No more questions. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. No talk me, I'm angry. Basically. <laughs> <sighs> um okay frankie is going to um it once again has to do it through ms foam um because she, she is going to be like you know wringing her uh hands because okay well that was a terrible idea we seem to have uh made this worse <laughs> we do kind of like uh, and she's going to uh, lead down to Ms. Fum again and say, How hard do you think it would be to maybe uh, get get rid of that, that, that blight that he seems to be uh, dealing with? I mean, again, uh, he can't... It's, if we... If, if we uh, suggest that we maybe might help a little bit he might uh be less inclined to just walk off and leave us on our own in a forest where we are uh potentially being stalked by a giant monster you think but but then again if it's uh, but we don't necessarily know how to how to deal with it it might be best just to just to leave let it run its course uh is there a way for miss Fallon to do some sort of check to try and think about if Things. Uh, I feel like it would actually be beneficial if she spoke to Jerome a little bit more before she made this uh, check, because she only saw it in the distance and didn't, you know, investigate it at the point. Uh, so instead, she would um, nod and say, um... I do not want to make assumptions myself, but I can attempt to speak with Jerome, see what his uh, experiences with the Blight is like, and see how well we could assist if it is possible. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. I mean, it's... Uh... Small, how hard could it be? She does actually like laugh at that, like, okay, <laughs> oh, okay, <sure>. honey, <laughs> okay. What colors um, of well... mold have you dealt with before? Because I can tell you, there's a few bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> listen, okay. listen, Fra uh, uh, Frankie's work mostly takes place in a 20% solution of formaldehyde, she's not really used to a lot of stuff growing where it shouldn't, <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, but Miss Fern will shuffle towards, uh, Jerome in the, uh, standing watch and will stand beside him and, I'm sorry, buddy, about this, uh, <laughs> but we'll begin to, we'll, we'll, we'll begin to say, like, I'm sorry about the information we had to provide to you um I, I, I do not wish this upon you we have recognized the lights that you are trying to protect this forest from and what what are the properties of it? He doesn't really acknowledge you at first, um, but he you can see one of his ears has kind of uh, turned its way towards you, so he is listening. Uh. Problem is, he kind of 
doesn't really know what to say here. He doesn't really know how to string the words together. Again, like, he can tell you are also having trouble stringing words together, so he at least gets the feeling that you will understand that he doesn't know what to say here. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. One moment, I'm actually just looking down the spell list. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, uh, what fucking... I really wish that Dungeon Master's Vault allowed an option to organize by type of spell. Okay. <laughs> what kind of... Mm. Can you control F? Not really, because everything's in the little drop-down men menus. Ah, fuck. But, well... um... Oh. Yeah. Just, Is yeah, it clear that's... that I don't really use DMV? Yeah, no, it's fair. <laughs> I mean, uh, what what are you are you looking for one in particular? Or I think you oh, know what I'm gonna fucking hand wave this because he is an NPC, he is a demigod. I can just kind of go fuck you it. You can do what you like. <laughs> Your city now. Um. Well, no, we gotta get to the city. <laughs> <laughs> Your forest now. <laughs> so I think what happens is he kneels down, presses his hand against the ground. And as he raises his hand back up, you can, you watch as some glimmering lights kind of form the shape of a tree. They're just on the ground. It's only small. It's only a couple of inches tall, but it is the illusion of a tree. And then you watch as he points out near its roots as the glimmering green and gold lights start turning gray and purple and flickering out as spots of some sort of sickness rise up the uh, rise up through the roots the trunk onto the branches as the tree loses leaves and starts curling in on itself and then you see the form of a person a humanoid stepping forward and coming near the tree and standing next to it and then coughing and then leaning over like doubled up hand resting on the tree to hold itself steady and coughing and coughing and then goes very very still for a moment and then stands back up only the colours of the human have also changed, have also become that sickly, like, sickly purple. And its eyes burn a bright, cold white as it looks at you, Miss Foam. And then the illusion vanishes. <laughs> Do we want to end the session there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's like, well, that's sure. not something we can really deal with, is it? <laughs> oh, so it's okay. So it's no big deal. No, nah. It's nice and simple to sort with. It's it's all good. Uh... We could probably just leave him to it. He definitely won't be corrupted by it as well. It's fine. Oh, so that that's that's all. That's all. Yeah, that's that's all. it. That's it. You guys uh, can. Uh, you guys just go to the village. Move on. It's good. Uh... Cool. Sounds good to me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.